Hello everybody, Al Day Home here, and I just thought I'd make a quick video of this Halloween tree that I've been working on and my lock, shock, and barrel masks that I made. So first off, let's show you this tree. Um, I've been working on this for most of the summer, and I think it's about done now. Saw it in my um, decoration room tour video uh, where I was working on it, but I think this is where it's gonna go. I just put some Halloween stuff around it so it doesn't look so bland. I don't know if I'm going to put this stuff around it or not, but yeah. So the first thing is I made these bows out of ribbon and then just kind of made those go all the way down it. Um, it's like black transparent ribbon with orange, green, and purple bats on it. And then for the lights, there's these orange lights on there. They were already on there, um, but I added some purple flashing ones that you can see there and they go all the way down as well, but there's not quite as many. I just didn't want it to be overpowering with orange. Um, and then down at the bottom, I have this creepy cloth and ribbon around it, and then also these um, pumpkins that I made from a tutorial um, on YouTube. They're, what's his name? Um, I don't remember his name, but I'll leave the link in the description of how to make these. It's, it's pretty simple, and they look really cool when they're done. They look all rotted, so. Thought I'd put those down here. And then I have this ghost and pumpkin garland. The ghost already had faces and they're all the same, but the pumpkins didn't. So I added the faces on those. I just cut them out of fabric and glued them on there. So there's those. And then as far as the ornaments go, I have two of each one for most of them. So I got two of these pumpkin type ones. And then two of these old world Christmas skeletons and then two of the old world christmas black cats there's one there and one down there and then six or seven of these ghosts on little ball ones there's orange purple and um black so i also have those and then from hallmark this year they have these jack skellington face ones so I got those. There's different expressions of his face and that pumpkin that he wears at the beginning of the movie. So there's one. Uh, there's one. There's one there. And one there. And then two at the bottom are kind of the same, but they are a little different. Um, yeah, and then I also have from last year at Hallmark this zero ornament. I really like that one. That's one of my favorites, so I just put that on there. And yeah, I think that's it for stuff on the tree. So I think it turned out pretty good. I guess we'll see at Halloween with all the other stuff. Because right now it just kind of sticks out. But other than that, um, yeah, so I think that's it. Let's go to the masks. Okay, so these are the lock, shock, and barrel masks that I made. Um, I made them out of foam, two pieces of foam for each just craft type foam that I got from Michaels. And then I used an exercise headband type thing and cut it and then stapled it to the, to the back to wear it. So it's kind of stretchy and you can wear it like a regular mask. Now for the, for the eyes, the fabric I used is the fabric that's on like the inside of gym shorts or exercise shorts or whatever you want to call it. Um, I used that and I glued it on behind the masks. And it's kind of a weird type of material because if you if you go up close to it, you can see that you can see through it, but then if someone's far away, they can't see your eyes. So it kind of blocks your eyes out. And I just kind of used some black paint and water and mixed it together, mostly water, to give them kind of a weathered type look. And for like locks, I made the front piece of foam his teeth, so it's kind of more 3D. And same thing with Beryl's teeth, I, I made them an extra piece so they're up higher. And then the noses, I just cut um, pieces out that were the same, matched them, and then fit a piece underneath and just painted on some of their details. Um, but yeah, these are the masks that I made. So now, just to compare, I got these masks from Spirit Halloween this year, these new ones they made. Um, and, I don't know, I made my masks before these were even announced, because that's why I made them, because I wanted one, but they didn't have any for sale. And I would definitely say that the ones from Spirit Halloween, they do look more like the movie, but I don't remember 
her mask being so blue. I, th I think it was more of a green, maybe not that bright, but I feel like it was more green. And his is like pink, which might be bright, I don't know. Um, but that one is, that one's definitely just like the movie. Um, but they, they look sort of close. And then I also thought I'd show you that um, I got this hat for Shock, because she's got that purple hat. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you a comparison, because I just got these. So I really quickly just wanted to say thank you so much to anybody who has watched my fall home tour for this year. Um, I think it's close to about 7,000 or 6,000 something views. That is crazy for me. That's more than I could have ever thought it would have and it's only been a week or so. So just thank you very much to anybody who watched that and I hope to see you for the rest of the year. So thanks for watching. Bye.